Hello everyone. Today on this episode of J Bros Cooking, we are going to be making ribs. Three different ways we're gonna be making ribs. I'm gonna try and give a reason why and what situation you would make these ribs. But we're gonna show you three ways. We're gonna show you barbecue grill, crock pot, and in the oven. But before we start, remember if you'd like to like and subscribe, chop that like button. Sharpen my knife again. We're gonna be using uh, a, a light mustard rub on uh, the Which ribs. A yellow mustard from the grocery store and it is the store brand. Nothing fancy here. We're gonna use that to, we'll coat the ribs, a light, very light coating of that and that'll help bind all the uh, spices. So first I'm gonna take the mustard and I'm just gonna spread it on. And you may ask why mustard? And I was kind of asking myself the same thing, why we always put mustard on our ribs. And it turns out that the mustard, whatever's in it, probably, probably I'm assuming mostly the vinegar helps break down the meat a little bit. And then it helps the spices stick to it. Flavor gets into the meat better, makes it tender a little bit. I don't want to say too much. Hit it, Jojo. Flip it over, John. I'm trying. It's fighting. All right, now. Joe's left uh, mustard off of one because we got a little bit ahead of ourselves and uh, I had removed on the back side of the rib is a membrane that you don't have to remove it. A lot of times we don't remove it. If it's just a family event, a lot of times we need it If it's it our family and they're eating for free, then they can chew on that membrane. You it's know just, what I'm when it cooks, it gets a little tough and it's a little bit chewy. Some people actually like it on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. I started just with a knife, I loosened it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead here just put some light pressure on it. Keep working it down. Oh, and it pulls right off. Joe, do you want to go finish the mustard on that oh, one? Yes, sir, John. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the spices on these. Start with our garlic. Mmm. I love me some garlic. This is garlic powder. This is onion powder. Onion powder and our paprika. Salt and pepper on there? Yeah, yeah. Before we flip them, I'm just gonna use this brush to... Dude, I just washed that. I don't know if anyone's noticed this amazing new finish on the counter, but uh... My wife's been bugging me, so I took it off last Thanksgiving and sanded it down, got all the knife marks out of it because everyone used it as a chopping board. And then I put it back on because Thanksgiving was coming. And I was like, we're gonna get this done for Christmas. And now we're approaching Thanksgiving again. And so I decided to get it finished and make my wife happy. You know what they say, happy wife. Happy life. It's true. All right, so we got our spice rub on. These guys are ready to go. We're gonna show you, we're gonna start. We're gonna take these out, get them on the grill, and show you that way. We'll be back in just a minute. Back, going out to the grill. Now we're gonna be cooking with a uh, indirect heat for these. So they're not directly over the, the coals. So now we're gonna take these ribs here. We're gonna put them in the crock pot and we're going to, uh, I like to cook it on low. Some people will do it on high for like three and a half hours, three hours. I found that, I mean, four hours seems like it's a little bit too long. On high. On high, it seems like you're just gonna be making like a, you know, you're gonna be pulling the bones out and throwing some barbecue sauce and you just made like some pulled pork because yeah. um, it's just gonna be like a mess. And I like to actually eat my rib off the bone. I'm gonna take this now and put it in the crock pot. Cover on, there we go. Now I have a, a story why I actually started. I was, you know, on the good old internet, Google, YouTube, right? Nothing wrong with going on YouTube to learn how to cook a meal. And because my apartment, which I lived in many moons ago, had, bar you weren't allowed to have a barbecue grill because they had them 
on the grounds. You had to use the ones, but it was like, I'm trying to explain it. You ever seen the ones at the park that are just like a grill that you, the only way to get more heat is like if you drop the grill down, there's no cover. They're public. You've seen people sitting on them, standing on them. Yeah, they're not, you don't want to cook your food on that. And so the first time I had gotten some hot dogs and some hamburgers and I went down and put the hot dogs on the grill. And I started cooking them and I ran back up because I had my I had my hamburgers in the freezer. I ran up to get my hamburgers and there is eight hot dogs on the grill. When I got down, one of my hot dogs was missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. There was eight. And in that situation, I started slowly cooking my ribs in a crock pot. And the, other, the nice thing about the crock pot is, so everything we did up to this point, you could do that the night before, pop it in the insert, pop it in the fridge that night. And when you're getting ready to leave for work in the morning, you put it in, you turn it on low, and you head to work. And you come home and you got ribs ready to go. And very little work, very little, very easy. I also like to, just wanna say, I like to use a, um, a crock pot liner. And it's literally because I hate cleaning out the crock pot. It doesn't fit in the sink well, it doesn't fit in the dishwasher well. And you can put this in and then just throw it out and... Usually the crock pot's basically, maybe you gotta wipe it yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, if you're, you can clean it so much easier to clean. I believe whoever made this had me in mind and they were like, we're gonna keep our customers safe. And See, no one's gonna get sick from using these. And that's the difference between me and Joe, because <clears throat> I have absolutely nothing against using these. I'm just, I'm cheap. I don't wanna spend the extra money. Sometimes when Joe's not paying attention and I'm here, I sneak one out of I his kitchen. I bet he does. I sneak you one know? out of his kitchen. This last set, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and cover this pan with tin foil. It's gonna go in the oven, again, low and slow. So let's go ahead and get the tin foil on these guys and get them in the oven. You want the shiny side down or the I always feel like that's the non-stick side for some reason. I, I don't know if it is or not. I think, yeah. Well, that looks, that looks amazing, John. All right. Did you learn that in culinary school? Yeah, in the oven, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Together. In four hours. All right, ribs are in, set at 225, four hours, and we're gonna let those go and we'll be back in just a bit. So we're just gonna turn them over now. Many hours later. So now we're gonna add the barbecue sauce to our delicious ribs. So these are the grilled, the, uh, these were cooked, They're cooked in the oven. These were um, broiled in the oven. What was what? What, was what it? Be broiled? Roasted. 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 Is that the proper word? Roasted. Probably not. But. This is the crock pot one. So Joe's adding the barbecue sauce to them. Like he said, we had the three different ribs, three three different ways we cooked them. Um, we are going to finish them all in the oven. Just a real quick broil, just to kind of get this uh, sauce to tighten up a little bit. And this is our barbecue sauce that we made in the episode where we made barbecue chicken. But it is. I'm gonna leave one of these ones that was grilled in the oven plain. The barbecue sauce does have a lot of sugar in it and someone might not want barbecue sauce on it. If you're uh, doing keto or anything like that, this is a fairly keto friendly meal if you leave the barbecue sauce off. Maybe we should try that because you know, everyone's on a diet in January. That's right, it's the start of a new year. Like you no. used to say growing up, Monday is a diet day of a, the new diet begins on Monday. And every month, you know, if you failed, which was usually by Monday afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> so like if Monday was diet day, January is definitely the diet month of the year. Diet month of the year, but there's 31 days. So that's really stretching it out for me. So now we're going to take this. This is not hot anymore. Go ahead and pop it in the oven. Got the broiler on. I'm gonna have John come over here. Ooh, that oven's nice and hot, that broiler. Pop those guys in, set that timer for three minutes, and check back in on them.
All right, we're gonna have to let these cool down just a bit, get them cut up, and we're gonna try these. So there you have it. We have our barbecue, we have our crock pot, crock pot and we have our oven. We're gonna do a little taste test, and we're gonna see which one we like. So I'm gonna take a little bite here. I'm gonna go for the grill of the crock pot. Mm. The crock pot does have a good flavor. It is very tender. Hmm. Wow. A little extra barbecue sauce. And the oven is great too. They're all great, but I think the best flavor is definitely the grill. But the most, the crock, the crock pot is really, really tender. It's, yeah. it's, it's almost perfect. Like it's not, it's not falling off the bone like too, too tender. It's just got that perfect like you know you can pull it off the bone and then uh the roasted in the oven is is amazing too they're all really good but i'm gonna give best flavor to the the ones on the grill that's that's from me i say any recipe you take you cook it inside it's always great on the stove in the oven but like just even chicken on the grill that's always my favorite way to have it but honestly all three of these would be great ribs if you made this recipe i'm thinking your family's gonna be happy with any of these and like i said before we're doing the the three ways I know some people are, I've read online, anti crock pot, but remember, not everyone can grill or has a grill or has access to a grill. And another thing, if you're not a big mustard person, how we put that mustard on, I'll be honest, I'm not a big mustard guy. And I forgot the mustard was even on there until I thought about it right now. It's It does not come through, but it, with mixed in, it's a great flavor. So and you can go a little lighter than what we did. I just, I like mustard. But John's like the opposite. Again, we appreciate you for watching and we thank you. And like we always say, it's always better when you make it yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And shoot us a comment. Let shoot us know us what comment. you think of our recipe. And if there's any, any recipes you'd like to see us try Remember, in the future. We don't claim to be professional chefs, so be nice to us.